Are we going to sneak around to look through the Empress's unmentionables now? Just how drunk are you, boss? Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody? Anybody? I hope you're not disappointed I stole your dance partner. <laughs> no, not at all. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. She probably did send you to your death. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. here. What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be 
rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. I can imagine what you thought your reward would be. Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. <laughs> oh, Orlesians. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything. Anything. Well, that was... Uh, Orlesian. seem to be paying off. Since I've had any word from Valois, you. Gaspar is wasting his time. Just gossip. Is it my imagination? So many crimes of fashion. To bees. We should know never. Lady Nightingale. I 
here, Josephine. You should invite all the family to Skyhold for the summer. You'd be bored the second. We can only hope Celine prepares tonight. Gaspar will ruin us all. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Celine's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You're not being kind, Florian. He's got to get used to disappointment. But not today, I think. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. 
You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Sticky, fancy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds. All your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining. But you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. You know I would never...
Gaspard You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together. Of course. Thanks to Briala, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Selene. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually, you'll convince somebody. Here, I have the letter Gaspard penned to his general ordering his men into position inside the palace. Can you blame me? Considering what transpired, preparing to repel an attack was the course of wisdom. And, of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selene. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. I can scarcely believe you did all this for me, Selene. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orle owes you its future. You have done so much, for my people and for us. We won't forget this. It was my pleasure. The two of you deserve to be happy. We truly are. Come. Stand with us, Inquisitor. We must give the good news to the nobility. Lords and ladies of the court, this is a night for celebration. Those who sought to poison our empire with treason have been brought to justice. It is a new age for Orle. We shall build a world in which all men and women live in harmony. Let the cornerstone of change be laid. I introduce the newest member of our court, Marquise Briala of the Dales. This is not just a victory in Halam Shiral, or within the Empire, or even for elves alone. This is a triumph for everyone! Over a thousand years ago in the Valerian fields, elves and humans together defeated the Imperium. We can do so much more now. We are greater than our ancestors ever dreamed. Together, we will start by saving our world from the enemy who took the Divine and tore the sky apart. It will take all of us to defeat the enemy threatening our world. We are already tracking these Tevinter agents. Soon they'll have no place to hide. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate our newfound fellowship. Let the festivities commence! <laughs> Thank you.
The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Celine knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orlais and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you? Allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. I'm not surprised to find you out here. Thought? It's been a very long day. For everyone, I'd imagine. It's nearly over now. Cullen's given the men their marching orders as we speak. Come, before the band stops playing, dance with me. I'd love to. 